Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity. So today, we're on a airplane. Just us. Um, are you hungry? Cause um, I brought some snack that we could munch on while we we're flying. Cause we're heading to a Neverland, Narnia. I don't know where the hell, wherever you want it to be. Ah! So let me scoot, scoot. Okay. Here's what I brought. So this is called Japche Bang. Inside this little bun, there is a japche, which is that clear noodle thingy. Clear noodle. And here. Some chicken wings. They were all in my backpack. I sneaked it in. And my favorite. Some ramen. I'm not gonna lie, I always um, wanted to eat some ramen as like a snack. You know how like when you're in the cart, they give you a snack. I wish they give you ramen. And I do not want to make ramen in a plane because that's such a nuisance to others. Just uh, remember, some people will not like the smell. <sighs> well, this is side of clear water or <laughs> try not to drink it because it sees see through so maybe I should drink it like this so let's eat oh. some chicken wing Oh yeah! So these are just regular kind. It's not like hot wing, hot wing. It's more like the barbecue, honey barbecue type, like a sweeter one. I love traveling through airplane. Cuz I feel like if I drive, I get tired, but if I fly, um I actually more feel more like I'm traveling. That's why I'd rather travel if it's farther distance. I like traveling by air. But there's perks of driving and there's perks of flying. For me, let's say I'm traveling with Kimmy, right? And if we travel in the air, we barely talk. Cause Kimi really, really, really don't like flying, so she's just like quiet. She usually takes um, Benadryl or something, to, cause she doesn't she doesn't like the whole turbulence. <laughs> we hate turbulence. No, but yeah. Hmm. Okay, there's not much of that chop chain here, but a little bit. So yeah. So when we drive, 
would talk for hours and hours and hours. That's why sometimes I really prefer just driving. If there's like six to like six, yeah. Seven is might be pushing it, but six hour. So back and forth, 12 hour distance, I will do it. There's magic sauce. So this is Secret Baby Ray's dipping sauce. It's a secret sauce from Sweet Baby Ray. Their, their freaking barbecue sauce is so good. So yeah, I tried my best um, to... So it depends on like where I guess I'll prefer flying, sometimes I prefer just driving. Plus like if you're like Kimmy and you might be afraid of flying, but honestly, that's um actually flying is actually known to be safer and has the least amount of accident compared to cars so, or bus or train so safe to say you're pretty safe oh. so I have one of those uh, neck pillow for traveling but it's green so if I were it it's gonna see through my whole neck so I can't yep so it's most likely like if you fly domestic in state don't give you any really food, more like a snack and you need to most likely purchase them however if you find international they hook you up they hook you up bad like you got to eat this bomb meal depends on which air, airline you fly I guess I flew what's the highest I flew? I guess like business class from Korea to here. And man, they were giving you steaks and whatever you like, right? That full kitchen kinda spaghetti. If you want Korean food, they got Korean food. But my brother, all he ate was ramen. Okay, all three meals, ramen. Well, I was eating like steak and stuff. Yeah, and it sucks like sometimes they won't let you in with food. Definitely if they won't let me in with any of this. Unless this was closed and sealed. Yeah, I always wanted to try to eat a full out meal from at while I'm flying. Eat whatever I want. But honestly, for the love of my life, I cannot fall asleep in the airplane. It's so fun. That's the only thing that I don't like. I 
a language. No, I'm so such a sensitive sleeper. And it everything just around me, the sound, the how cramped you are. I just cannot fall asleep. And during like, I guess like a couple of years ago, five, six years ago, I used to only ride, um, you know those like uh, cheaper airlines? Like, I guess Southwest and... Well, Blue might not be that bad. They're, they're really good, I like Blue. But, well, anywho, I took many of those flights where you can't even recline your seats even a little bit. That sucked. I just like got more tired. I feel like I was never rested. It just. So I, I was, that, you know, might as well pay like 50, 60 bucks more and stick to regular airline. Which definitely helps. So have you guys heard of air fryer? Where it doesn't use oil but it makes it crispy. I used to uh, air fry these. Pretty dang crunchy, I love it. Maybe because um, I took a shower, I feel shiny, I look shiny. I really think, check out the cost, cost on this. It's very thin. Thin amount of chop chain there. I bet it took more effort to just cut it this small so that it could only add this tiny bit. Most likely you'll be full, but not because of chop chain, because of the, all the breading thingy. Anyways. I put my whole head on because just in case my hair might be a see through because of this green screen. Just in case. So what are some of your most favorite destination that you guys travel to? Uh, I mean, a lot of people ask me, hey, where, where's your next trip gotta be? To be honest, I think I will stick around 
in the state and see what our state has to offer first. Because I have a friend that travel around the like world, everywhere. But he even said, you know what? I have no idea what are some, I have not been to any of these beautiful places in US. So I'm like, yeah, well, I'm gonna finish looking at my country, my state first. And then I shall travel around the world. You know, I've been seeing a lot of viral video where people have been getting kicked off the plane and stuff. Which, um, I never personally experienced it, but I'll be so mad. The thing about those, um, if you have cheaper airlines, is that they don't have their own gates, I guess. They always share gates with somebody else, so... You can expect many gate changes, because... One time, I had to go to Boston, and I was just listening to my MP3 at the gate. Just, oh. At the right gate, just in my music, just zoning out, and then I realized all the people are gone. One or two, and there's only like one or two left. I'm like, what the? And I look at the monitor, it still says to Boston, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. But then. Time has passed, but yet door didn't open, and I was like, "Okay, this is definitely something's off." And I went to the main desk and I said, "Hey, um, my gate," and they're like, "Oh, that uh, that flight they changed the gate, and it's already left." And I was like, "Excuse me, you know?" But those uh, guys were like, oh yeah, we um, said it in the announcement, so you should have heard it. I was listening to music. But they booked me to the next flight, so any available flight, which was actually better because just like this right now, I, I, my whole role, there was nobody. Although I got to Boston at like really late in the morning, but you know, went there really comfortably.
and I want to kill time in the plane. Usually try to read something, right? <clears throat> That's when I get like motion sickness. Man, I have so many like issues with my body. When I'm like, <coughs> try to read one line, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. But that's just me. Mmm. I personally wish I could learn how to fly. Like flapping my wings? No. But like how to fly an airplane because it's so cool. And but it's super dangerous, you know? It's not like driving a car. Kind of scared, but I think I should make that way into one of my bucket list. Like whenever I look at the camera, I have my um, light stand right there. And it's so bright. I get like blinded. Hey guys. Well, for those who are traveling, maybe because of spring break, why not? Or even just for a weekend, or even coming back from Easter. It's a bit late, huh? But all you guys have safe trip. Wish you guys safe trip. I swear, every every time I go on a pass a security thing. I would get pulled over for something. Nothing illegal, but something always. Always have to do the pet thingy, pet down. I'm so used to it now, so I'm just like, yeah, go ahead, it's okay. Pet me down. Because I really think more that you argue, why me? Why me? It just takes longer, and it's kind of just. You're gonna get in trouble. And literally, a person in front of me said, "Hey, sir. We all all we have to do is pat you down on your like right side of the leg. That's it. That was it." But he said, "Well, why? I don't want you to pat me." And then it was my turn, and then obviously they pull into the side, and my turn, and then it's like, "Oh, I have to pat you on the." both sides, like on my hip area, like pocket area. I'm like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And while I was done, after he just patted, I'm, okay, go ahead. But the other guy who was in front of me had like two other security guys came and said, why, like, do you need to go into the room and like all that. I was like, no, I'm not gonna let you guys pet me. Like, I know, but if you're in a hurry, because he was saying like, I have to get on my flight, and are you guys gonna reimburse me? Are you guys gonna reimburse no, I mean, like, you know, if you just say, yeah, sure, go ahead, and he's, they're just gonna pat and say, go. If you feel uncomfortable, they're gonna probably ask you to you could go into a room to do it, so. But I mean, that's what I saw, so. Not many people will be happy with the TSA, but, I mean, it just, if you just, Say sure, go ahead, just get it over with, you know, because <laughs> you're on vacation or coming back home, so it's the best feeling, right? But I don't know, it's just me, so all of other people might have different thoughts, so yeah.
<laughs> well, for hopefully we all get home safely. Chicken wing. Oh.